Well, hello, my friends. We are back for part two of Season of Change, a fall concertina. And we have started by putting our concertina together and we will create the most beautiful pages um, in the next few videos. And if you have not seen part one, I will leave the link above in the video and also in the YouTube description box. And then we will do the cover as a bonus in the subscriber library and in the memberships. The subscriber library is free and you can sign up for that at no cost. Um, it, I will leave the link down below in the YouTube description box. And um, we are celebrating this week all fall stencils are on sale for 15% off using the coupon code FALLFUN23 and that also will be down below. Okay, so we have moved on to a new section and I have I found this um, collage paper that had color swatches in yellows and I thought, I wonder what I could do with that. And I thought, well, that seems kind of ridiculous to use it as a background, but I did it anyway, because I'll say it again, the theme for this is letting go. So I just went with my gut and I'm so glad that I did. I'm just, I've got some cad yellow acrylic paint out here now, and I'm just putting brush marks down and I wanted to kind of move them around and have them free and represent sunflowers. It's a very loose representation, but that's okay because we're not worried about perfection on this um, project and in this concertina. We are here to have fun, to explore, to try new things and to let go. And this is our season of letting go, my season of letting go. So I layered the yellow and the cad orange with a little bit of black soft pastel in each of those little splotches of paint to resemble my sunflowers. And I'm using um, a General's charcoal pencil and soft pastel pencils to kind of scratch in and make some stems and some grass and just kind of smooshing it out a little bit to kind of blur the lines. And I love how it looked. And I love that collage paper in the background. So don't second guess yourself. Just go for what you feel is right in the next right moment. I've got my sunflower stencil out and I stenciled those sunflowers in raw umber. And I had, I pulled out my rambling branches stencil and stenciled up at the top in some of that kind of prism violet color. That violet color really, I don't know, it, for me right now in this concertina, it feels grounding. And so I, I needed to add that at the top to kind of fill in that space and, and give it a little bit of weight. Um, I use some acrylic ink to kind of blend in that and blend out some of the edges along with some white paint. And then I've got some raw umber and some olive green on my finger, all wet and just kind of smooshing things around to kind of fill in the blank spaces and to soften some of the edges. I'm using my General's Charcoal Pencil to, again, I'm following the lines. And if you didn't watch part one, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say following the lines. Um, I see another tree here and um, some more branches and I just, followed my intuition and went with it. It's kind of a wonky tree once I get done with it, but it's okay. This isn't for anyone's um, judgment, no judgment from ourselves and no judgment from anyone else. We are here to create and play. And every time we show up to our table, we learn something new about ourselves about how we want to create, about colors, about mixture, about line, everything. No time is wasted in our journals as or in any project that we create. It's all a valuable lesson. So I'm going to kind of sketch out my tree now with my General's Charcoal Pencil. And when I did the sunflowers at the bottom, I originally started to do them in color. And for whatever reason, I went with the raw umber because I wanted them to feel like this shadow of the flowers. And it gives a really good weight to the bottom of the page. 
And so, and it's a good contrast too. Contrast is always key as we create. Um, but to be honest, I didn't want to think about any of the rules and I wanted to just be free. And so um, I'm beefing up the lines in my tree and really kind of making it have a little bit of weight with my um, black soft pastel and um, trying to make it not look scary, um, but it is fall. So the trees, when it, they, their leaves leave, they can be a little scary, I suppose. I'm adding some shading around my um, stenciled flowers. And really, honestly, I'm just kind of outlining some of the petals, not 100%. But again, to kind of bring some of that black in and so that there's a little bit of balance. But again, not too worried about it. And this quote is, what are the lessons I need to learn in this season? And right now, my lesson is letting go. I've got a little bit of my acrylic ink, the muted, um, I think that's muted um, gray and muted green mixed together, which has turned out to be my favorite mixture right now and um, just kind of push those words back and I've printed out these words just on my computer and copy paper and then cut them out and put them down. Added a little bit of shading with my um, pencil and now I'm on to my next section. This is a collage paper that I made from last Sunday's inspiration. And if you haven't seen that, you can watch that. I'll leave the link down below. But I had I was going to just put the whole thing on there. And then I thought, you know what? It's got such interesting leaf pattern that I wanted to cut some of them out. And I thought, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. And so I cut quite a bit of the sections out and then put them down. And this is on wet strength tissue paper, so it's really strong and I'm not worried about tearing it or anything like that. I'm using Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium to put that down. And um, now that it's dry, I've got a little bit of my ink out here in the muted gray that I have been using all along. And I think I might have said it was Prism Violet. It's muted gray. It's such a beautiful color. And um, I'm just going to go right over the top of that with my with some vines that kind of represent what the stencil, stenciled image that I put down. And that stenciled image is from the Rambling Branches stencil. And um, I'm just letting it flow. I am using a um, quarter inch angle brush and I really like an angle brush so much better than a round brush because I can get a flat edge or a wider edge and it gives me a lot of variety in my brush stroke. Um, but just really free form, putting my, my uh, little leaves or branches or whatever you want to call them. It's all my imagination and that's what I love so much about this concertina. It is absolutely childlike play and I so want that for you adding a little bit of um, grasses, brush strokes to kind of blend everything in and adding some of that muted gray down at the bottom to again, kind of connect all the areas. And I overlap all of the areas so that it feels like one long, wonderful journey. One long, wonderful story. This is my black crow stencil. And I chose the crow because of the quote that I'm going to put in this section. Um, this is the muted uh, violet and muted green again because I wanted some kind of blue sky up at the top <clears throat> because I didn't have any leaves that I had stenciled in this section. Um, I used the green leaves at the bottom of the page and so I wanted a little bit of blue sky and my teal wasn't quite blue enough so I added a little bit of Prussian blue <clears throat> and I wasn't real fond of that. <laughs> So I, I kind of stuck with this a little bit and kind of worked through the color that I really wanted. And um, just using my fingers to tap that out and at, kept adding back and forth some color to try and get where I wanted to go. And it <clears throat> wasn't going exactly as I had thought it would go. So I thought, well, I'll add a little bit of white in there. This is titanium white and acrylic ink. Then it was too blue. So I stuck with it 
<clears throat> added some muted green back in and oh, here it comes. Here comes the color that I was looking for. Just tapping that out to kind of soften some of my fingerprints and the edges. And I have found my way <laughs> with my sky color and it is all good. And even if it wasn't perfect, I was going to be okay with it because that's the process. Letting go of the outcome. Adding a little bit of tight, um, gesso, and, or, yeah, gesso and unbleached titanium to kind of mute some of those areas down because there's a lot of things happening. The leaves, everything. So I wanted to kind of push a little bit of that back. Not a ton because I love, love, love that background. And it is a true expression of this season of letting go and being free and so but I did want to just kind of push it back just a tiny bit and I'm just putting my paint on my finger and then dipping my finger into my water bucket and kind of smooshing that paint around bringing back a little bit of that muted green up into the sky there and now I'll come back and I will use my general charcoal pencil to just kind of quickly outline my leaves. I'm not getting too detailed and you can tell that by how I'm holding my pencil. I'm holding it at the end. I'm not choked up on it. And when I want detail, I will choke up on my pencil. So I'm just letting there be scratchy lines and freedom in this section, in all of the sections. Um, that is my goal. Got a little bit of um, a violet um, soft pastel with a little bit of um, raw umber soft pastel and just kind of adding a little bit of that scratchy feel from the soft pastels that I so love and um, adding a little bit of weight to my branches. Adding just a few highlights to my crow which I'll actually end up coming back and doing. Um, because I will put my words down and kind of erase some of that. But this is a soft pastel pencil, adding just a few tiny highlights to my leaves. And my printed quote is, I will welcome, un I will welcome uncertainty in this season. And that's really hard to do. But when we welcome uncertainty, especially in our art, the most beautiful things happen. And so I put that, my quote down with some matte gel or matte medium and um, getting that dry. And I'm putting a little bit of brown soft pastel over the top of it with just my finger because it's still a little bit wet. And so it kind of just really hangs on to that soft pastel and makes it permanent when it's still wet with fluid matte medium. And I didn't want to make it too dark because there's a lot going on in this section and with the bird and everything, so I wanted it to stay fairly light. I will shade my edges now um, in these two sections and kind of check out if there's anything else that I want to add to these two sections. And then we will call this part two complete and then stay tuned for the final section um, on Sunday for my regular Sunday inspiration. You can check out all of the videos in the subscriber library and in the membership. That is the final section and we'll do that on Sunday. All right, my friends, thank you so much and I will see you on Sunday. <laughs>